Hey guys, welcome back to the next part of the Black Panther Minecraft Pixel Art tutorial. We're going to go ahead and continue where we left off, which is going down here. We're going to go and switch over to the gray wool. We're going to be needing the black wool and also the gray concrete. So, let's start off with the gray wool, and I want you to find this one black wool that we have these three gray wools on top of. We're going to start underneath this black wool, starting from there. We're going to be placing it two grays going down, so that's one or not two grays going down, starting on the right side of it, not underneath it, whoops, so starting from right there, we're going to start on the right, so that's one and two, so it should look like this, make sure it looks like this, and once you've done that, you're going to be switching over to the black wool, starting underneath the two gray wool, so starting from there, we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal down to the right, so that's one and two, so it should look like that. Next, you're going to be switching over to the gray wool and starting from the left side of this black wool, so starting from right there. We're going to be adding two grays going down, so that's one and two. Next, switch over to the gray concrete, and we're going to be filling in this empty space here with the gray concrete. So let's fill that in. Let's head back down, and now we're going to be switching over to the... Or, not switching over just yet. Uh, we're going to go back over here to these two grays. So starting from here, we're going to be placing three blocks going down on the right... So that's, so that's one, two, three. Next, we're going to be placing two blocks going down on the right. So that's one, two. And then you're going to be placing one block going down to the right. So that's one. So now we go ahead and, uh, now we're going to go ahead and switch over to the gray wall. Or, not the gray wall, but the gray concrete. And with the gray concrete, we're going to be filling in this empty space here with the gray concrete. So let's fill that in. So it should look like that. Now let's head back down here real quick, and we're going to go ahead and get rid of the center block now. We don't need that anymore, so let's just go ahead and get rid of that. Uh, we're going to fly back up here, and we're going to be switching over to the the sign terracotta. Switch over to the sign terracotta. And we're going to head back to these two black concretes, the one that we just placed a gray wall on top of. We're going to start on the right side of these two black concretes. Uh, so starting from there, of these two blocks, so from right there, we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the left with the cyan terracotta, so that's one and two. Now you're going to be placing two blocks going up on the left, so that's one, two. Next you're going to be placing three blocks going up on the left, that's one, two, three. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing one block going up to the left, that's one. And now, starting on top of this black wall here, so starting from right there, we're going to be adding three blocks going up. So that's one, two, three. Next, we're going to be switching over to the black wall, add one black wall on top of the three signed terracottas. So that's one black wall. Switch over to the terracotta, place one signed terracotta on the left side of this black. So that's one. Switch back over to the black wall, add one black wall on top of the signed terracotta. So that's one. So it should look exactly like this. Alright, now we're going to switch back over to the sign terracotta. We're going to move back to that one black wall that we placed the uh, placed on top of the three sign terracotta. So going to this black wall on the right side of it, we're just going to be placing one sign terracotta. So that's one. And now from here, we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. So that's, that's one and two. So it should look like this. And once we've done that, we're going to be filling in this empty space that's right here up to the left, this spot right here with the cyan terracotta. So let's fill that in. And it should look like this. Alright, so what we're going to be doing now is switching over to the uh, gray concrete. And with the gray, co uh, the gray concrete, we're pretty much going to do the same thing we did there in the previous part. Just going to add those little tiny dashes. So we're going to start off by switching over to the placement block, going back to this one sign terracotta. We're going to be adding one placement block underneath it, so that's one. Switch back over to the gray concrete, add one gray concrete on the right side, so that's one, and add one concrete underneath the placement, so that's one. So it looks like that. Let's go ahead and get rid of the placement now, and we're going to be switching back over to the placement, starting underneath this gray concrete. So starting from there, we're going to be adding two placements going to the right, so that's one and two. Switch back over to the concrete on the right side of these two placements, so from there we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal down to the right. That's one and two. 
Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements now. Switch back over to the placement, starting underneath this block. So from there, we're going to be adding two placements going to the left. That's one and two. Now switch back over to the gray concrete, and starting on the left side we're gonna, of these two placements, we're going to be adding one concrete on the left. So that's one. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placement blocks. Okay, now starting from this block, switch over to the uh, placement starting underneath it. We're going to be adding two blocks going, two placements going to the right. So that's one and two. Switch over to the concrete starting underneath the placement. So from there, we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal down to the right. That's one and two. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements. Now, once you've done that, switch over to the placement block starting on the right side of this concrete. So starting from there, we're going to be adding two blocks going down. That's one and two. Switch over to the block, uh, the gray concrete. Starting underneath the two placements, we're going to be adding one concrete, so that's one. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placement blocks. Head back down, switch over to the placement. Starting underneath this concrete, we're going to be adding two blocks going to the right. Two placements, that's one and two. Switch back over to the concrete. Starting on the right side of these two placements, we're going to be placing two concretes going diagonal down to the right. So that's one and two. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements now and switch over to the placement block starting underneath this concrete. We're going to be adding two placements to the left, that's one and two. Switch over to the concrete, add one concrete on the left side of these two placements, so that's one. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placement blocks, and now we're going to switch back over to the placement, and going back again to this concrete right here, not the one that we just placed, but the one we came from it, so starting from here now, we're going to switch over to the placement block, and we're going to start on the on underneath it, so right there, we're going to be adding two placements going down, that's one, two. Switch over to the gray concrete, starting from the bottom block on the right side, so from there we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the right, so that's one and two. Let's go ahead and get rid of the placements. Switch back over to the placement, starting underneath this block that's right here, we're going to be adding two placements going down, that's one, two. Switch over to the concrete, starting from the bottom block on the right side, we're going to be adding one concrete. So that's one. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placement blocks. And now from this block, we're going to be placing one concrete going down to the right. So that's one. Let's go ahead and get rid of the placement blocks. Fly back a bit. So you can see that it should look exactly like this so far. All right, so now what we're going to be doing is switching over to the light gray concrete. And we're going to be filling in the remaining empty spaces that we left behind with the light gray concrete. So let's go ahead and fill those in. Fill. I'm going to fill this in in real time because we really haven't had a large area to fill in when it comes to uh, this pixel art yet. At least until we reach the face, the mask, the helmet, whatever you want to call it. If anything, I'd say it's more of a helmet. Alright, there we go. So when you're done filling it in with the light gray concrete, it should look like this. So what we're going to be doing now is we're going to go ahead and focus on a little bit on the black concrete and the outlining but I do enjoy uh, doing taking a pixel art like this doing it by little tiny parts and parts instead of outlining the entire thing first alright so we're gonna go back down here or to the left really so going back to these two black concretes that we had here going across starting from let's say we're gonna start we're gonna take a different route actually we're gonna start on top of the right block of these two so starting from right there we're going to be placing five blocks going diagonal up to the left. So five diagonal up to the left. That's one, two, three, four, and five. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements. Fly back a bit so you can see that it should look like this. So now we're going to head back up here. And from here we're going to be placing... We're actually going to be placing a lot. <laughs> we're going to be placing 16 sets of twos going up on the left. 16 sets of twos. So that's one, two, one... One, two, two, one, two, three, one, two, four, one, two, five, having difficulties with the controller, one, two, six, one, two, seven, one, two, eight, one, two, nine, one, two, ten, one, two, eleven, one, two, twelve, one, two, thirteen, one, two, fourteen, one, two, fifteen, one, two, sixteen. 16 blocks. Let's go ahead and get rid of the placements now. Make sure to double check just to be sure 
that you have 16 of these two. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Again, that's 16 sets of twos. So we're going to go ahead and back up, uh, go back up here. And starting from here, we're going to be placing three sets of threes going up on the left. So that's 1, 2, 3, 1, 1, 2, 3, 2, and 1, 2, 3, 3. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements now. Head back up here. And from here, we're going to be placing four blocks going up on the left. That's one, two, three, four. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing 11 blocks going up on the left. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Let's go ahead and go back down and get rid of the placements. Head back up here. And from here, we're going to be placing two blocks going up on the right. Going up on the right, too. So that's one, two. And once you've done that, you're going to be placing four blocks going up on the right. So that's one, two, three, and four. And it should be making contact with those two black concretes we had there. Let's go back and get rid of that placement block. And once we've done that, what we're going to be doing next from here is switching over to the placement block. And moving over here a little bit to the right, we're going to go to these 10 black concretes that are making contact with the two black concretes that we just made contact with the four concretes. So going back over here, back to these 10 black concretes, we're going to start from the bottom block on the left side of it, starting from right there. We're going to go ahead and put a placement block, so that's one. Switch over to the black concrete, starting on top of the placement, so from there we're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal down to the left, so that's one, two, and three. Let's go ahead and get rid of that placement now. And once you've done that, you're going to be switching over to the placement block starting underneath this block here. So from there, we're going to be adding two placements going down. So that's one and two. Switch over to the black concrete starting underneath the placement. We're going to be adding two sets of twos going across on the upper level to the right. So that's one, two, one, and one, two, two. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements. I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this so far. So now uh, we're going to go ahead and focus on this large area right here with those two smaller areas right there. Uh, so this is going to be the whole entire thing now. Uh, we're going to go ahead and, in fact, first what I'm going to do is put away every single block because we're going to go ahead and start focusing on the lighter ones and then we'll go to the dark ones. So focusing on the lighter ones, we're going to be switching over to the light gray wall and we're also going to be needing the white concrete. So switch over to those, and we're going to go ahead and start from, again, from this area right here, not this large area that's by itself. So from this area right here, we're going to start at the very top of it by adding one light gray concrete underneath it. So that's one, so it should look like this. Switch over to the white concrete. We're going to be adding one white underneath the uh, light gray wool. So that's one. Again, this is light gray wool concrete. Switch over to the wool, add one wool, so that's one. Switch over to the concrete, add one concrete, that's one. And from here, we're going to be adding just one concrete going down to the left from it, so that's one. And once you've done that, switch over to the uh, the wall, starting from the right side of these, uh, or not of these, but just this concrete. So from there, we're going to be adding three light gray walls going diagonal down to the left. So three diagonal, that's one, two, and three. And now that we've done that, we're going to be doing the same thing. We're going to be doing this as a pattern. It's going to be light gray, then, you know, white concrete, light gray, white concrete. So starting from up here, we're going to go with the white concrete. So tracing the outline going down, we have three. So it should look like that. Then switch over to the light gray wool. Same exact thing. Going down to the left, three, just like that. And then once again, switching over to the white concrete. I'll do that same thing again, going down to the not down to the right, but down to the left. <laughs> going down to the left so it should look like that. Okay, we have like a checkboard pattern thing going. And we're going to go ahead and continue that checkboard pattern in this next area right here. First, we're going to start off with the white concrete, starting from right there. Let's go ahead and go down to the left. So that's one, two, three. Very simple and easy. And continue that checkboard pattern like so. And then switch back over to the white concrete. We're going to head back up here now and go down diagonal down to the left so it's just basically blocks going diagonal down to the left but in a checkboard pattern 
so it should look exactly like this. Very simple and easy. Now this is where the the checkboard pattern of two different uh, of two different colors ends, or two different type of blocks, however you want to view it. <laughs> Uh, we're going to go ahead and start off with the white, or not the white, uh, the light gray concrete. We're going to start from underneath these two black concretes. Basically the, the furthest spot up here. That's part of this large area. So starting from right there, we're going to be placing five gray, uh, li light gray uh, walls going diagonal down to the left. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements. Once you've done that, switch over to the white concrete. We're going to be filling in these two empty spaces here with the white concrete. So just fill these two so it looks like that. And once you've done that, what we're going to be doing next is we're going to be switching over to the, the light gray concrete. Switch over to the light gray concrete. We're going to start up here, starting underneath this the first light gray wall that we place here. So starting from right there with the light gray concrete, we're, uh, we're going to be tracing the line but the uh, the line of light gray walls with the like line of with a line of light gray concrete. So just trace it like this. Same thing we did up there with the checkboard pattern. So it should look like that. I'll just refer to it as the checkboard then. All right. So now we're going to be switching over to the cyan terracotta. Now with the cyan terracotta, we're going to go back up here, starting from the light gray concrete on the right side of it. So starting from right there with the cyan terracotta, we're only going to be placing two blocks tracing this. So that's one and two. That's two blocks that are right next to each other going down to the left, so it looks like that. Then we're going to go ahead and finish this line by switching over to the gray wall, light gray wall that is, and we're going to go ahead and add three more going diagonal down to the left. That's one, two, and three. So it should look like that. Now once you've done that, switch over to the light gray concrete, and we're going to head back up here. We're going to start underneath the cyan terracotta. That's right there. And we're going to be tracing this entire thing with the cyan terracotta going diagonal down to the left. So just trace that. So it looks like this. And once you've done that, you're going to be switching over to the gray concrete. So let's switch over to the gray concrete now. Or not the gray concrete. Well, yeah, the gray concrete. Not the gray concrete. The gray wall. I mean, I've already warned you guys that this is going to mess me up since we're using the exact same type of colors with just two different words, wool and concrete. All right, switching over to the gray wool, going up here on the right, we're gonna be adding one gray, so that's one. Then you're gonna be placing one gray going down to the left, that's one. Then we're gonna be switching over to the cyan terracotta, and we're gonna be placing two blocks going diagonal down to the left, that's one and two. And now we're gonna be switching over to the light gray wool, and with light gray wool, we're gonna be placing two blocks going diagonal down to the left, so two diagonal. That's one and two. And it should look like this. So what we're going to be doing next is switching over to the uh, the gray concrete. We're going to head back up here. Underneath the first gray wool up here, we're going to be adding one gray concrete. So that's one. Once you've done that, you're going to be switching over to the light gray concrete. If I can find it. There we, there we, no, there we go. Now with the light gray concrete, we're going to be uh, tracing the remaining uh, line here basically adding five, so that's one, two, three, four, and five. And once we've done that, what we're going to be doing next is switching over to the uh, the cyan terracotta. And we're going to start down here. Starting from this block on the right side, we're going to be adding just two blocks going diagonal, uh, going up to the right, so two diagonal. That's one and two with the cyan terracotta. Next, you're going to be switching over to the gray wall, and we're going to be tracing the remaining uh, line that's available with the gray. So that's one, two, three, four. Well, it's just four grays. And once we've done that, we're going to be switching over to the gray concrete. We're going to head back up here. We're going to start underneath this gray wall. So with the gray concrete, we're just going to be adding three gray concretes going diagonal down to the left side. Three diagonal. That's one, two, and three. And now we're going to be switching over to the light gray concrete, and we're just going to be adding another three going diagonal down to the left. So that's one, two, and three. And now we're going to be switching over to the cyan terracotta. We're going to be adding one cyan terracotta underneath this light gray concrete. So that's one cyan terracotta. And while we're at it, we're going to go ahead and switch over to the light gray wool. And, no, not the light gray wool. The light gray concrete. Grr. 
had one like light gray concrete underneath this block so that's one and add one block on the right side so that's one so it should look like this now once you've done that you're gonna be switching over to the gray concrete we're not tracing anymore just so you know we're not tracing starting from this block right here we're gonna be placing five gray concretes going diagonal up to the right so that's one two three four and five let's go ahead and get rid of those placements and now we're going to switch back over to the light gray concrete. And we're going to go to these three black uh, black concretes that we have here available as I get tangled in my wires. All right, so starting uh, from these three black concretes, from uh, the top block on the right, we're just going to be adding one like a light gray concrete. So that's one. Now we're going to be switching over to the gray concrete. Starting from this block right here, we're going to be placing five, or not five, we're going to be placing six six blocks going diagonal up to the right so that's one two three four five and six let's go ahead and get rid of those placements let's head back down here and from here we're going to be switching over to the placement block just add one placement block underneath this light gray concrete so that's one placement switch over to the placement block starting from the from underneath this placement block we're going to be adding from here five gray concretes going diagonal up to the right so five diagonal that's one two three four and five let's go ahead and get rid of the placements now okay make sure it looks like this we're gonna go ahead and switch over to the gray wall now and we're gonna head back down here starting from this gray concrete on the right side of it we're just gonna be adding two gray walls going diagonal up to the right so two diagonal that's one and two now we're going to switch over to the gray concrete starting underneath this gray wall. So starting from there, we're going to be adding two gray concretes going down. That's one and two. So I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this so far. Now we're going to be switching over to the gray wall. And with the gray wall, we're going to be filling in all of these empty spaces, all the single empty spaces here with the gray wall. So let's just go ahead and fill all that in with gray. Fill that in. There we go. I'll fly back a bit now so you can see that it should look exactly like this. All right, so what we're going to be doing next is so much, I guess, easier. At the same time, could not be easier. It is easier. It's just basically the lines, but we're not going to be doing it for everything. It's just a small portion of it. So to start things off, we're going to go ahead and switch over to the black wool. Not that we need it, but we're just going to quickly just switch over it switch over to it uh, we're gonna go back to these two black concretes we're gonna be adding one black wall underneath it so that's one once you've done that switch over to the gray concrete and starting on the right side of it so from there we're gonna be placing two gray concretes going diagonal up to the right so that's one and two and now we're gonna switch over to the placement starting on top of this gray concrete we're just gonna call it concrete all of this right now that we're gonna be putting our dashes uh, a little tiny dashes like we did down there this is gonna be uh, the gray concrete. So I'm just going to refer to it as the concrete, just so you know. Starting on top of this block right here. So from there, we're going to be adding two placements to the right. So that's one, two. Switch over to the concrete. Starting on the right side of it, we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the left. That's one, two. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements. Switch back over to the concrete. Starting on top of this concrete right here, we're going to be adding two placements to the right. That's one and two. Switch over to the concrete. Starting on the right side of the placements, we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the right. That's one and two. Get rid of those placement blocks. Switch back up here to the concrete. Starting on top of this block, we're going to be adding two blocks going to, two placements going to the left. That's one and two. And once you've done that, switch over to the concrete. Add one block on the left side of these two placements. So that's one. Get rid of those placement blocks. Switch back over to the placement. Starting on the on the right side of this block that we just placed. So starting from there. We're going to be adding two placements going up. That's one, two. Switch over to the concrete, starting on the uh, on top of the placement. So from there, we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the right. So that's one and two. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements. Switch back over to the placement block, starting underneath the top block of these two concrete. So starting from there, underneath it, we're going to be adding three blocks going to the right. So that's one, two, three. Next, you're going to be switching over to the concrete. Add one concrete on the right side, so that's one. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placement blocks. Switch back over to the placement blocks, starting on from the left side of this one that we just placed from there. We're going to be adding two placements to the left. That's one and two. 
Next, we're going to be switching back over to the concrete, starting underneath the left placement. So from there, we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the, or not up to, down to the right, two diagonal down to the right. That's one and two. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements, switch back over to the placements, starting underneath this block right here. We're going to go ahead and add two placements to the right. That's one and two. Next, switch back over to the gray, starting underneath the right block of these two. So starting from right, or, where am I? I'm getting lost. Starting on the right side, not underneath, but starting on the right side. So starting from there, we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal down to the down to the right, or down to the left. Oh my god. One and two. I'm getting so confused now. So there you go. I'll fly back a bit. I don't want to confuse anyone. So, Alright, so make sure it looks lo exactly like this. So what we're going to do now from here is, we're just going to move over here to the right a bit. From this area we're going to go to these seven black concretes that we had here going up underneath these seven blocks we're going to be adding one gray concrete underneath it so that's one so it should look like that very simple and easy once you've done that switch over to the block starting underneath this gray we're going to be adding two placements to the left that's one and two i'm just going to call it gray it's a lot easier <laughs> starting on the left side of these two placements we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal down to the right so that's one and two Get rid of those placements, switch back over to the placement, starting on the right side of this gray. We're going to be adding two placements to the right, that's one, two. Switch back over to the gray, starting underneath the right block of these two placements. So from there, we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal down to the left, that's one and two. Get rid of those placement blocks, head back down here, switch over to the placement, starting on the left side of this gray. We're going to be adding two placements to the left, that's one, two. Switch back over to the gray, starting on the left side of the placements, we're going to be placing two blocks from here uh, going diagonal, or not, uh, starting underneath it, not on the left, starting right there, not underneath, or not, <sighs> starting underneath, we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal down to the left, I'm trying to go fast because this is going to take so much time if I go slow, and the fact that we're not doing anything complicated at all, all we're doing is adding a little dashes, there's really no reason for war me to instruct you super extremely slow. If you, if you understand what I'm saying. All right, so starting from this one block here on the left side of it. So from there, we're going to be adding two placements to the left. That's one, two. Switch back over to the gray, starting on top of the placement. So from there, we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the right. That's one and two. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements. Switch back over to the placement, starting on the left side of this block right, uh, of this block right here. We're going to be adding two placements going up. That's one, two. Switch back over to the concrete, starting on top of the two placements. We're going to be placing two grays going diagonal up to the left. That's one and two. Let's go ahead and get rid of the placements now. Once you've done that, switch back over to the placement, and we're going to start from the starting on the left side of this gray block right there. So from there, we're going to be adding two placements going down. That's one and two. Switch back over to the gray, starting underneath the placement. We're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal down to the left. That's one and two. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements. Once you've done that, switch over to the placement block and starting underneath the block that's right here, we're going to be adding two placements going down. That's one and two. Switch back over to the concrete, starting from the bottom block on the left side of it, starting from right there, we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the left. That's one and two. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements. And I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this so far. So we're going to head back over here. It's, uh, and we're going to go back to the two that we just placed that were right here. And from here, what we're going to do is switch over to the placement block and starting underneath the gray. We're going to be adding two placements to the left. That's one, two. Switch back over to the gray. Add one gray on the left side of the two placements. So that's one. Now let's go ahead and get rid of those placement blocks. Once you've done that, switch back over to the placement. Starting underneath this block on the uh, right there, we're going to be adding two placements to the right. That's one, two. Switch back over to the concrete. Starting underneath the... Uh, the placement. We're going to be placing two grays going diagonal down to the right. That's one and two. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements. Switch back over to the concrete. Start or <laughs> switch over back over to the placement. Starting on the right side of this uh, concrete. So from there, we're going to be adding two placements going up. That's one and two. Switch back over to the uh, gray. Starting on top of the uh, placements, we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the right. That's one and two. Let's get rid of those placement blocks, back up here, switch it back over to the placement blocks, starting on the right side of the of the concrete, we're going to be adding two placements going to the right, so that's one, two. 
Switch back over to the concrete, starting on top of the placement of the right. So from there, we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the left. That's one and two. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placement blocks. And once we've done that, again, I'm going to fly back a bit so you can see that everything should look exactly like this so far. Just make sure it looks like this, because now we're going to head back down here. Going back down here to the left, the furthest down to the left of these two that we have here. So going back to the, the those two right there. We're going to go ahead and start uh, underneath it. So starting from there, we're going to be adding two placements going down. That's one and two. Switch back over to the gray, starting from the bottom block on the right. So from there, we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the right. That's one and two. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements. Switch back over to the placement block, starting on top. So from there, we're going to be adding two blocks, uh, two placements to the right. That's one, two. Switch back over to the gray, starting on the right side. So from there, we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the left. So diagonal, that's one, two. So it should look like that. And now we're going to be switching over to the placement and starting from these two that we just placed, starting on the right side of it. So from there, this one here. We're going to be adding two placements to the right. That's one, two. So now we're going to switch back over to the gray, starting on top of the... Where am I? Because I completely lost track. Uh, Let's get rid of those two placements. I have no idea why I was there. I took a break. It doesn't look like it. I did. I paused the recording for a little bit to take a break because there was a stupid dog barking. Um, Let's see. We're going to go ahead and go back to these two grays, switching over to the uh, the placement block and starting on top of this block right here, starting from there. We're going to be adding two placements to the right. That's one, two. Switch over to the gray concrete, starting on top of this placement. So from there, we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the right. So that's one and two. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placement blocks. I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this. So, what we're going to be doing next is switching over to the uh, the placement block, and with the placement block, we're going to head down here, back down here, to the, the furthest two that are down to the left, starting underneath this block. We're going to be adding two placements to the right, that's one, two. Switch back over to the gray wall, now with the gray wall, starting on the right side of it, so from there we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal down to the right, so that's one and two. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements. Once you've done that, switch back over to the placement block, starting on the right side of this block so from there we're going to be adding two placements going up that's one and two switch back over to the gray starting on top of it so from there we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the right so that's one and two let's go ahead and get rid of the placements next we're going to head back down here switch back over to the placement going down here to the furthest one that's down here so starting from there uh we're going to be adding two placements to the left so that's one and two next you're going to switch over to the gray concrete, add one uh, gray under, on the left side of these two placements, so that's one. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placement blocks, switch back over to the placement, starting underneath this block right here, we're going to be adding two placements to the right, that's one and two. Switch back over to the gray, starting underneath this placement right there, we're going to be adding two grays going diagonal down to the right, that's one and two. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placement blocks, and now we're going to switch back over to the placement, starting underneath this uh, gray we're going to be adding two placements going down. That's one, two. Switch back over to the gray. Starting from the bottom block on the right side, we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the right. So that's one and two. Let's go ahead and get rid of the placement blocks. Once you've done that, switch back over to the placement starting underneath the uh, the top block that's right here. So starting from there, we're going to be adding three blocks going down. So that's one, two, three, three placements, that is. So now that we have our three placements there, we're going to be switching over to the gray. Add one gray concrete underneath it, so that's one. Let's go ahead and get rid of the placements now. Now we're going to head back down here, switch back over to the placement, starting underneath the concrete. We're going to be adding two placements to the right, that's one and two. Switch back over to the concrete, starting underneath the placement. So from there, we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal down to the right, so that's one and two. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements. I'll fly back a bit again so you can see that it should look exactly like this so far. Now we're going to switch back over to the placement block, starting underneath this block right here. We're going to be adding two placements to the right, that's one, two. Switch back over to the concrete, starting on the right side. So from there, we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal down to the left, that's one and two. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements. Switch back over to the placement block, starting underneath the block that's right here. We're going to be adding two placements to the right, that's one and two. Switch back over to the concrete, starting on the right side of the placement. We're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal down to the right. So 
two diagonal, that's one and two. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements again, switch back over to the placements, starting underneath this block that's right here. We're going to be adding two placements to the left, that's one and two. Switch back over to the concrete, add one concrete on the left side of the placement, so that's one great concrete. Let's go ahead and get rid of the placement blocks, so it should look like this. Now what we're going to be doing from here is switching back over to the uh, placement starting underneath this block. We're going to be adding two blocks to the right, that's one, two. Switch back over to the gray, starting underneath the placement. We're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal down to the right, that's one and two. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements. Head back down here, switch over to the uh, placement starting underneath the block right here. We're going to be adding two placements to the right, that's one and two. Switch back over to the concrete, starting on the right side of these two placements. So from there, we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal down to the left, that's one and two. Let's go ahead and get rid of the placement blocks. I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this. Now, I will call you a fool if you think that we're completely done with those little dashes. <laughs> almost, almost. We still have a good amount to do in this area. Okay, so to do that, uh, the headaches, the headaches. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and abandon this. <laughs> this, this side's getting slightly annoying. We're going to go over here to the right. We're going to switch it up a bit so we're not completely bored. Uh, we're going to go back to these six gray concretes over here to the right. We're going to start uh, on top on the left side. So from there, we're going to be adding two placements going down. That's one and two. Switch over to the gray, gray concrete starting underneath the placement. We're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal down to the left. That's one and two. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements. Head uh, back up here. Uh, or not back up here, but just going back to this one block right here. So from there, we're just going to be adding three placements going up. That's one, two, three. Switch over to the concrete. Starting on top of the placement, we're going to be placing two grays going diagonal down to the left. That's one and two. Let's go ahead and get rid of the placement blocks. Switch back over to the placement blocks. Starting on the left side of this block, so right there, we're going to be adding three placements to the left. That's one, two, three. Switch over to the concrete. Starting on the left side, so from there, we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the right. That's one and two. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements. Switch back over to the placement blocks, starting underneath this block right here. We're going to be adding uh, two placements to the right. That's one and two. Switch back over to the concrete, starting on the right side of it. So from there, we're going to be placing two grays going diagonal down to the right. So that's one and two. Let's go ahead and get rid of the placements. Switch back over to the placement, starting underneath this block right here. We're going to be adding two placements to the left. That's one and two. Switch back over to the concrete, starting on the left side. So from there, we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal down to the left. That's one and two. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements. Head back down here, switch over to the placement blocks, starting underneath this block here. We're going to be adding two placements to the right. That's one and two. Switch back over to the gray, starting on the right side of these two placements. We're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal down to the right. That's one and two. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placement blocks, switch back over to the placement, and what we're going to be doing next from here is we're going to go to these three, I'll label them, or I'll just place placement blocks on them, go to those three, crown, the concretes, Jesus, I can't speak, dude, I, somebody mentioned in the previous part that the word concrete means nothing anymore, just for the fact that I've said it so many times, and that it's getting to that point, it's just a sound to me at this point. So going back to these three concretes, these three gray concretes, starting on top of the left block of it. So from there, we're just going to be adding one placement block. So that's one. Switch over to the gray concrete. We're going to be adding one gray on top of the placement. So that's one. Let's go ahead and get rid of the placement block. So it should look like this. Next, we're going to be switching over to the placement block. We're going to head back up here. And from here, uh, let's see, we're going to be adding, uh, starting on top of this block that's right here. We're going to be adding two placements to the right. That's one, two. Once you've done that, you're going to be switching over to the gray, starting on the right side of these two placements. So from there, we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the left. So that's one and two. Let's go ahead and get rid of the placements now. Switch back over to the placement block, and this time we're going to head back again to this block right here, starting on top of it right there. We're going to be adding two placements to the left. That's one and two. Switch back over to the gray, and starting on the left side of it, we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the left. That's one and two. Let's go ahead and get rid of the placements, head back up here, switching over to the placement, starting on top of this block, so from there, we're going to be adding two placements to the left, that's one and two, switch back over to the concrete, starting on the left side of the two placements, we're going to be adding two grays going diagonal up to the right, that's one and two, 
let's go ahead and get rid of the placement now. Switch back over to the placement, starting on top of this concrete. We're going to be adding two placements to the left. That's one and two. Switch back over to the gray, starting on the left side of these two placements. We're going to be placing two grays going diagonal up to the left. That's one and two. Let's go ahead and get rid of the placements. And now we're going to head down here. Just the, these two black walls on top of the left block of it, we're going to be adding one gray. So that's one. So it should look like that. And once we've done that, we're going to be switching over to the placement, starting on the left side of this gray. We're going to be adding three placements going to the left. That's one, two, three. Switch back over to the uh, gray, starting on the left side of it. We're going to be adding two blocks going diagonal, up, uh, two blocks going diagonal down to the left. That's one and two. Let's go ahead and get rid of the placements. Head back down here, starting underneath the block, the gray right there. We're going to be adding two placements to the right. That's one, two. Switch back over to the gray, starting on the right side. We're going to be adding one gray. That's one. Let's go ahead and get rid of the placements. Or starting on the right side of those two placements, not the gray. Jesus. Switch back over. To, at least you guys know. At least you guys know exactly what I'm trying to say. Anyways, switch back over to the placements. Going back to this block on the left side. So from there, we're going to be adding two placements to the left. That's one, two. Switch back over to the gray. Starting underneath the placement, we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal down to the down to the right. That's one and two. Let's go ahead and get rid of the placements. Switch back over to the placement block, starting on the right side of this gray. So from there, we're going to be adding two placements, or not two, three placements going down. That's one, two, and three. Switch back over to the gray, starting from the bottom block on the right side of these placements. We're going to be adding one gray. So that's one. So it should look like that. Let's go ahead and get rid of the placements now. Switch back over to the placement. And what we're going to be doing from here is we're going to start on the left side of this one block that we just placed. So from there, we're going to be adding three placements to the left. That's one, two, three. Next, you're going to be switching back over to the gray, starting underneath the placement. So from there, we're going to be placing three, or not three. We're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal down to the left. So two diagonal, that's one and two. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements. Switch back over to the placement, starting on top of this block right here. So from there, we're going to be adding two placements to the left. That's one and two. Switch back over to the gray, starting on the left side of the of the placements. We're going to be placing two grays going diagonal up to the up to the uh, right. So that's one and two, two. Let's get rid of those placement blocks. Switch back over, starting on top of this block right here. So from there, we're going to be adding two placements to the left. That's one, two. Switch back over to the gray, starting on the left side of it. So from there, we're going to be placing from here. Uh, where am I? I am completely lost. So starting from there, we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the left. That's one and two. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements. And now switch back over to the placement block. And from here, what we're going to be doing is starting on top of this placement block, right? Or starting on top of this gray, we're going to be adding two placements to the right. So that's one and two. Next, switch back over to the gray, starting on the right side of it. So from there, we're going to be placing two grays going diagonal up to the right. That's one and two. Let's go ahead and get rid of the placement blocks. And once you've done that, you're going to be switching over to the placement, starting on top of this gray. We're going to be adding two placements to the left. That's one and two. Switch back over to the gray, starting on the left side of the two placements. We're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the left. That's one and two. Let's go ahead and get rid of the placements. And switch back over to the placement, starting on top of the block that's right here, the gray. We're going to be adding two placements to the left. That's one and two. And once you've done that, switch back over to the uh, gray concrete, starting on the left side. So from there, we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the right. So that's one and two. Let's go ahead and go over to the placement block. And now I'm going to fly back a bit. So you can see that it should look exactly like this so far. Okay. Uh, I'm double checking just to make sure. Yep, yep. We're pretty much, uh, pretty much done with... Uh, this part right here so I'm gonna go ahead and pause not yet here and tell you to in the comments section I don't I don't I almost never ask anyone to leave a comment unless it's for a pixel art request but we're just gonna take a quick little pause here or at least I'm uh, suggesting you do and in the comment section just leave something like survived the nightmare because this entire thing of dashes was a nightmare to instruct so if you did make it this far, just put down below, hashtag survived the nightmare. All right, so what we're going to do now is the very last step for this tutorial part 
is switch over to the black wall and we're going to be filling this entire empty space here all of this obviously staying within the black concrete outline so make sure you don't accidentally fill that little tiny space right there with it in fact i think that's going to be black wool so it doesn't really matter so uh we're going to be filling in all of this now with the black wool so go ahead and do that now and when you're done filling it in it should look like this so i'm going to go ahead and pause here and continue the Black Panther Minecraft Pixel Art tutorial in the next part. Again, guys, gamertag, plug, plug, this is my gamertag. Uh, check out my club, plug, plug, that's my club. Go ahead and request to become a member. So with all that being said, make sure to stay tuned in for the next part of the Black Panther Minecraft Pixel Art tutorial, and make sure to stay tuned in for the next uh, Minecraft video.